Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to HD Piano. I'm Dan, and in this lesson I'll show you how to play the keyboard riff to Ball Without You by 21 Savage. It sounds a little something like this. Two, three, four. All right, so that's the riff. It repeats for the whole song. So we're gonna learn it all right here. If you do head on over to hdpiano.com, you'll get some improvisation tips. I'll sort of break down the theory behind a lot of this, and then we'll play like a karaoke version that matches the recording. All right, question. Tell me something about 21 Savage. I'm unfamiliar with his work. Comment below. I'm curious to be uh, reading what you say. This is middle C. <clears throat> this left hand can start up here or down here whatever you're more comfortable with or whatever fits your keyboard. Um, I like the sound of it lower. It's kind of that sub your bass sound, but it would be just fine here. Okay, so let's break these chords down. We start with an F minor nine, or in the key of F minor. So we have A flat, C, E flat, G in the right, and an F in the left. Move that top voice down to F, so it goes. And then the left hand walks up from G to A flat. And the right hand is now on G, C, E flat, which is an A flat major seven chord. So that's the first measure. Left hand thumb up to A flat. Now here we have E flat, F, A flat, B flat in the right hand. And the left hand on those final two notes plays E flat, D natural, on the way to D flat. Now the right hand is on F and C with a little grace note, which is just a flick of a note on B flat to C. So let's go back, recap so far. We play A flat in the top voice. We have these two leading notes here, B flat, B natural, to this C7 chord, which is C in the left, B flat, E natural in the right. I'm gonna drop down to this low C, and we're gonna add an A flat to the top voice of the right hand, followed by a G. And that's the whole riff. We set it back up with E flat, E natural, and then F. I'm going to play through that entire four measure loop really, really slowly, like maybe impossibly slowly, and uh, hopefully that'll give you sort of a wide picture of what's going on here. Three, four. faster. Three, four. Faster yet? Two, three, four.
And then recorded speed, which is 138 BPM, is right here. Two, three, and... Okay, I think I'm going to leave it at that. It's a really simple riff in, in that it's short, but there are some complexities in the parts, so don't feel like you're going to learn it in three minutes like I just spent. Um, you may take 10, 20, maybe even a couple days to really get this under your fingers. Uh, I'm going to talk about some more theory tidbits, you know, improvising ideas, because I think this is like a really fun sort of neo-soul riff to improvise around. We're going to do that at hdpiano.com. Uh, if you're on YouTube, comment below what's you know something I should know about 21 Savage. Find us on social media, say hello. Send your song ideas to requests.hdpiano.com. That's it. I'm Dan. I'll see you there, the home of the hybrid piano lesson.